Right, it's Wednesday, another beautiful day. Today is the last day. It's dome day, it's clear up day, dome day. Yeah, so yesterday I got the wall flat. Um, so today we're just gonna concentrate on getting the cement dome on top of the wall. Get that all smoothed up. We'll try and get that cement dome done first thing. We can spend the rest of the day, obviously, whilst we're brushing up, clearing up, raking up, whatever up. Just keep going over that cement dome and keep it nice and smooth and make sure it goes off well. Like I say, we've got nice weather today. It's supposed to get up to like 18 degrees. So to keep an eye on her, but it's quite shaded where we're working until about sort of early afternoon, sort of two, three o'clock light. So yeah, we just don't want it to dry too quick, basically. And just keep rubbing it up, whack it all out on trowels, then carry on with like a little metal paddle get all the shape and then uh, slowly brush it up with a plastic one just so you get that lovely textured look on the dome if you know what I mean as long as it matches up with the old wall it will be lovely so yeah crack on with that today like I say lots of clearing up really but like I say it's all part of walling you got to do it to me anyway clearing up is probably one of the most important things because if you don't you know if you don't need the site nice and clean What's the point, you know what I mean? But yeah, like I say, we're just going to keep going over that wall. It is a rough stone wall, nothing special. Like I've said on every single video, this wall is about structure and strength and the look will be a bonus. But like I say, overall, so far, you know, customers over moon with it, didn't expect it. But, you know, like I say, it's going to have things planted either side of it and it's just going to be wedged by a hedge. It's going to be a weird sort of Cornish hedging. <laughs> So if you haven't hit the like button, hit the like button and let's crack on with today, eh? Let's go. Absolutely beautiful day. Oh, not as cold this morning. Right, we're getting there. As you can see, the wall is starting to really brush up nicely. Um, Pat and Cam cracked on with the top, the dome. So we just spread it out basically initially. Started off using the trowel and then I use a little paddle, metal one, just to get it the shape. I'd leave it for a little bit because if you start rubbing it up too quick, um, you get bits like that. And then obviously like the grit and stuff comes out and obviously just leaves holes basically. So you want to make sure it's the, just starting to really go off. So obviously when we use it, we're going to use, um, well, we always use a plastic one. So obviously I know we used the metal one. That's just the shape like, but really you want to use like a plastic one with that sort of texture. And just at an angle, basically just rub, rub it and just keep rubbing it and as you can see we just, you know just keep going over it but in a minute it is just a little bit too uh a little bit too wet just uh try to sort these bits out i think that was old yeah like i say 
So we'll leave it probably, I'd say probably about half an hour actually. The sun is starting to come round now and the sun's starting to get on top of it. So just got to watch out for that. So when it's right, we'll just keep, keep rubbing over it. Just keep going. Cause you want it so it's just starting to dry. But um, you can't really see on the camera really, but you can still see like a layer of moisture at the minute. Once that moisture goes and it looks a bit dull, um, it's obviously starting to go off. That's when you want to catch it. Ooh. So yeah, no, we're doing all right. So like I so say, we just keep rubbing over it. When we do it as well, we just uh, always keep sort of one side lipped up. Just so if you do catch any coming off, like you can sort of A, C it and then B, obviously just, uh, you know, get rid of it or just move it on to another bit. But yeah, no, it seems all right. It's not, you know, it's not too bad at the minute, to be honest, yeah. It's just, uh, yeah, it's a lot. Like I say, this has got no sun on it compared to up there. So you can just see the sun coming on that bit now. It's starting to go off a lot quicker up there. But yeah, no, it's just uh, it's just about massaging her, you know. Just keep going over. You can sort of see the old one here. It's uh, it's pretty good actually. I don't know what this bar's about as well. I've only just noticed that. I did ask Pat, and he sort of said, "I don't know if it's just obviously for climbing plants, but if anyone knows what a bar like this is doing in an old, really old wall, it'd be good to know." Apparently, it was attached to another bar, just like this, on the other side. So imagine like an A, sort of. So I don't know what it's for, because apparently it was a bit like a bit of washing line just dangling. So we said it might have just been put in there for a washing line, but I don't know really. But if anyone does know, let me know, because I'm quite intrigued about that. Um, like I say, the, the owners don't know, so. But yeah, no, that's it really for a minute. Um, we are cracking on with the tidy up as well. Like I say, um, we're having to do it by hand. So the customer wants every single bit of stone, even the little ones. So we're just using the barra to obviously pick out the stone. Pat's just gone and took one load of uh, waste and stuff away. But yeah, no, we're all good. We are all good, actually. Like I say, we just leave this, like I say, another half an hour or so and we'll start brushing it up. I think on the ends as well, we'll just go along with a trowel and just obviously cut them off. Just to neat it, you know, just to neaten the edges up, really. Just go along with a trowel and just doff, doff, doff. You can see with the, uh, the pointing as well now, because it's all starting to look a lot nicer than it probably did yesterday. Because we're just going to keep nibbling that. That's the good thing with uh, lime. You can just keep going over and over it, you know. You know, it's all starting to dry. It's all right. It's a rough stone wall. I think we've got it as best as we can, really. You know, could have spent a couple more days on it, but that's obviously not what they want. They just wanted it up, so. Lovely jubbly. Ah, I think it's good. I think, like, you know, depth-wise and evenness-wise, it's absolutely spot on. As you can see, that old bit there, that coming onto there. It's all right. But no, that's today. Like I say, just a nice little tidy up day bit of love and care and affection but yeah no it's too wet let's try and get rid of that line keep it nice and compressed oh where's that come from Right, anyway, let's crack on and uh, yeah, get this signed, sealed, and delivered, baby. Let's crack on.
over a bit. That's it. Oh! Go on, Cambo. Go on, Cam Cam. That's how we do it here, innit? We don't we don't use diggers or kangas or anything. Just do it by hand. Yeah, we'll get it on. That's the same. Maybe flick it around. Oh, there's Mama. Where is he? It's a tarantula. Oh, he's big. Oh, what's the spider? Most people use breakers or kangas and that, but we like doing things traditionally, don't we? We, we, we are the breakers. Hey, we'll get there. We try in there. That is literally one of the biggest footings I've ever seen. It's causing us hell. We could really do the digger, but we're getting there anyway. Most of that's cleared up now. We've just got this little bit here. Just, uh, yeah, spent about half an hour trying to break these massive lumps up. But we got there. That last little bit to do and we're all good. Oh, so, yeah, we've just got to rake all this yet. Top's basically done now. Just uh, maybe one more rub up, give before we go. The mark we come up here. Oh! Look at that. Lovely, isn't it? Nice. Looking good. Like I say, that will dry. Obviously brighter than that because it's weathered this. No, uh, still. Still doing a little bit of brushing up. Let's keep it going all day, really. Bit of raking, bit of tidying, bit of brushing. Love it. But nah, like I say, this little bit to do, and we're done. Hopefully, it'll be a one trailer load. We'll see. Oh, anyway, let's keep her. Uh, let's keep going. Keep going. Oh, nearly there. Nearly there. There we go. Another one done. Completed it, mate. She's turned out all right. Like I say, still got a bit of drying to do and that. I believe Pat's going to come back tomorrow, continue and just, you know, do a little brush up. But like I say, the customer's absolutely over the moon. I think with the stone we had, um, yeah, the stone that come out the old wall, like I say, it was hidden. All these trees have been cut out, you see. So this wasn't even on show, this wall. But you can see the old wall there. Wasn't very pretty, so I think, you know, we've, we've done our best, basically. It's all you're gonna really get. This dome is looking good. Absolutely lovely. Ain't gonna get it much smoother than that, so it really ties in well. So obviously, you know, when Pat comes back, he'll, you know, just basically check everything over tomorrow. But, you know, you can, you can, you could spend days on this brushing up, but eventually it's all gonna weather. Once uh, the lime dries, it's just been so damp, so. Um, yeah, we'll leave Hesse and we'll probably have to, you know, probably come back a few days, really. Just keep coming back and, uh, yeah, just keep checking her. But overall, yeah, loved it. You know, I really enjoy jobs like this, you know, really trying to make a wall and make a wall out of that stone we initially had at the start. Yeah, in the time as well, like I say, well, four days this, so not bad. So, yeah, back on the greenstone job tomorrow. Enjoyed this one. It's been all right. Nice, you know, kept us busy for a few days, in it? So, anyway... This ground here, like I say, it's all gonna get planted up anyway, so hence uh, why, we, why we put such a big foundation in this wall, a lot bigger than we normally do, um, you know, for that reason, because they're gonna plant hedges, but this will stand proud for a long while. Love it, happy days. Right, anyway, over and out, thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you haven't, hey, hey. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll uh, see ya in a bit.